Draco Kid, thank you for the ten gifted subs as well. Here is the Trump NFT, baby. Let's take a look. Everyone, this is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading. He's like, Lincoln never had NFTs. Cards. These cards feature some of the Boy, really incredible the artwork. Bro, I will never. I'm sorry. This is literally not Donald Trump. This is Joe Biden. This is Joe Biden. Listen, Washington never made America great again. He might have made America, but not great again. Work pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump digital card. Thank you, passenger shaming. Also, um, is Dima straight up trolling him at this point? No, he's just like, he literally is just trying to fucking make money wherever he can because he has always been this person. People think Trump is like not a fucking, not like one of the sweatiest grifters of all time. This has always been him. What is this? Can you make sense of Matt Chrisman's, uh, Biden's fascism speech? What? What? Bro, this is from three months ago. I don't care. What the fuck? What? No, I will not be reacting to a, a you know, a podcaster's, a, a podcaster's take on fucking Trump's speech from, I mean, uh, Biden's speech from like three months ago. Cards, just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize. But it's what we have. Or golf <laughs> with you and a group of he even shit on. He's like, I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we got. I love that. The admission, the self cuck. Your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one on one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and on so the much iPad. more. We're doing a lot. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community. And I think it's something you're going to like and you're going to like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts. So you can buy them with your credit card or crypto. All you need is an email address. Go to collecttrumpcards.com and buy your Trump digital trading cards right now before they are all gone, and they will be gone. This is my first official Trump trading card NFT collection, and you get a chance to meet me. Go to collecttrumpcards.com right now, and remember, Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas gift. This shows how many motherfuckers are fake, okay? Everyone's making fun of him now. They're saying this sucks and that Trump's a fucking loser. Well, partially because they're so stupid that they thought that like Trump was going to announce that he's going to be the speaker of the house or he was going to announce that he was going to announce his vice president or he was going to like announce that he's the next president or the previous uh, or had never not been the president or like he killed all the pedophiles in the deep state or some shit. Of course not. He hyped it up like he does with anything else. And it was a fucking dud. Um, 12,000 already sold. First of all, that's not a great number. And secondly, even then, I don't believe that. I'm willing to bet that a chunk of that was bought most likely with campaign finance funds, specifically so that they could say like, oh, well, you know, we bought this with the campaign finance funds because like, we're going to hand it off to like, uh, you know, some of the people that, uh, you know, some of the people in the Trump campaign or something. There's no way. Um, the Q people are saying this is a sign. Yeah, I mean, they're crazy. How the fuck is this a dud? This is hilarious. I'm just hoping to make a game you can play with them. No, they're, they're NFTs. NFTs never have utility. Come on. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Apparently, if you buy 45 of them, you get a guaranteed entry to Mar-a-Lago Gala. You should do it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 
Fuck, that sounds good. I don't believe it, though. I don't believe that you actually do get a guaranteed entry to anything because I just don't believe Donald Trump. I think he's a fucking liar. Um, anyway, let's take a look at what uh, Newsmax reacted to live on oh, air. Quickly. So uh, that is his major announcement. Many thought it would be political. Many thought it would be about maybe uh, creating a new party. I mean, there was so much speculation on this. Uh, but it's not that. It's a digital trading card. It's 99 bucks, and he uh -huh. said it would make a great Christmas gift. So, oh, there's a bunch of them. Interesting timing for that. Yeah, uh, there you go. That's that. There's the announcement. And I think, yep, we got the website up there, too. If you are interested in supporting uh, this b business venture of the... It's a sweepstakes, so it's free to enter a chance to win. You should have everyone enter under a name so you can finally meet Trump. It's just so sad. They're like on autopilot. So they like have to, on the one hand, promote Trump. But on the other hand, they like recognize how shitty this is. Former president. Like, it's awesome. Um, if Trump uses best song of his campaign, I vote for him illegally from Canada. Always want me to fucking watch that. Yes, yes, Vaught International did the same thing with Homelander. I know. Homelander wishes he was half as hot as Donald Trump. Okay, fuck you. Stop showing me Homelander. Um, Matt Gates is trying to make Trump the see uh, Speaker of the House. Trump star Republicans don't want to wait until 2024. Play him up as a potential House Speaker. Uh, yes, sir. If you do it with the House, would you want uh, Vice President Trump uh, to be the Speaker? I would. Have you talked to him about it? I have. What did he say? Oh, I keep my conversations with the former president uh, between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. They also talked about little girls, apparently. Who knows? Trump said, free Nestor. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, Fox News is on its usual Fox News shit. The war on lobsters. Uh, or not Fox News, sorry, Newsmax. Eric Boiling, uh, I think he had, like, what did he have? Like, sexual assault allegations, so we had to fucking leave Fox News to go to uh, the, the fucking Newsmax instead. And uh, here he is covering the war on lobsters uh, three nights in a fucking row. Good for him. He's killing it, okay? Go to CobraTaint.com, trust it. It's good. I watch it every day. What? Go to CobraTaint.com. What the fuck? CobraTaint.com? You guys bought it? What the hell is wrong with you, dude? My mom switched to Newsmax after Fox refused to say Trump won the election. That is sad. I'm sad to hear that. I'm so sorry uh, about that. I want to hear more from, like, uh, I want to see more conservatives and, and, and more Fox News coverage on this. Maybe we can go to Fox Live to hear what the fuck Fox News is talking about live. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see what the boys are talking about over at Fox News, dude. Let's see. Does anyone have that live link for Fox? This is CNN. Jake Tapper is sharing his daughter's appendicitis misdiagnosis. What? Alice Tapper finally got her appendectomy. And after a particularly dark time, she is once again allowing herself to start dreaming about the future. What? But now she... Okay, not interested in that. Let's take a look at what's happening on the Fox so News. Those that are most oppressed. And no one wants to cause violence to anybody. And you can't even remember what you said. At that point. So it's just another way to censor you. And I will not stand for it. Way to, way to stand up for free speech, Jesse. I am going to stand up. <laughs> You're in a mood today. Yes. It was a, yeah, a federal judge, a liberal federal judge, whose son was gunned down and her, her, and her husband was shot as well. And yeah, so perfect. there is real violence. Okay. Yes. And it, it happens with a the crime left. wave because you guys said defund the police. That's so same wrong. thing. All right. Got to go. I'm going to be Buttigieg next. He is the secretary of vacations, caught neglecting yet secretary. another national crisis while on a posh European vacation. <laughs> God, Jesse is so fucking annoying. <coughs> That's the worst type of sneeze, man. You got food in your mouth and you're like, I hope this doesn't. I hope I fucking hold this in. They didn't show the best Trump NFT. Oh, dude, damn. That one is a fire one. I'd buy that. Store it. Make sure that it's, uh, you know, something you can always bring up regularly. Uh. Anyway, where the fuck... Let's see what, like, Fox News is saying about Trump's NFTs, dude. 
there has to be there has to be some fox coverage already right no they are rupert murdoch is like really dialing it back like if there's no fox coverage it's a big l trump kind of fell off yeah i mean i'm sure that i'm sure there is it just hasn't made it into the um uh, it hasn't made it. its way to the interweb. Interweb. Liver King underwent tests from Beverly Hills plastic surgeon to prove his abs are real after a steroid confession. That's crazy. Okay. Rupert Murdoch's in court right now. That is true. Maybe that's the reason why he's not pushing for the Trump. He's not pushing P uh, any longer. Oh, no. Trump roasted after major announcement. Turns out to be digital trading cards. Oh, no. Thank God the digital trading cards are here. It was indeed a major announcement. The juxtaposition is ch chef's kiss. Ron DeSantis today, he signed legislation that will cut tolls in half for an estimated 1.2 million Florida commuters. Um, Maggie Haberman, the speculation from other R's and even some Dems was rampant that the major announcement would be about his campaign or McCarthy, but instead it's a quick money-making opportunity tr trust up as a meme. Trump trying to be seen as Superman has a long history going back to his 50th birthday. Whoever thought this was a good idea needs to be fired. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, Bannon ain't having the NFTs either. I can't do this anymore. He's one of the greatest presidents in history, but I gotta tell you, whoever, what business partner, and anybody in the comments, I love like even when, when Trump fucks up, it's somebody else that fucked it up for him. Okay. Somebody on the team is fucking up boys. Big time. You understand me? Big fucking time. Team and anybody mar lago and I love the folks down there, but we're at war. Uh -huh. They ought to be fired today. You came out with something that's so important, which I still don't think gets to the heart of it. And hey, you don't have three harder cores than Cortez, Bannon, and Sub Gork. <laughs> so when they're, and we're getting blown up all day on the set. Hog reaction to the NFTs. Donald Trump announced his new NFT collection. Even on Truth Social, the response has been lukewarm at best. Because it was dumb as fuck. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. If this is true, it doesn't look good for Trump. Aha! And then you have the fucking schizo posters. Like, there may be a hidden message with this announcement. 